you have to go back to the creator of a thing to know what the thing is is for. So my point to you, in order to understand what it is that you want to do in your life, what you were put on this earth for, you got to go back to your purpose. Now how do you find that out? What would you do for free? If money was no object, if you could do anything in the world, if it, it, it is your wildest dream that you may not have said to anybody, what would it be? Whatever you want to be in life, whatever you think you're gifted in in life, it's important that you get knowledge about that kind of thing. If it's music, you need to get as much knowledge as you can. If it's sports, if it's writing, if it's being an artist, if it's being a mechanic, if it's being an uh, engineer, you need to find out everything you can about what you want to do. And get that knowledge and begin to apply that knowledge to the ability that you have. Another thing you need to do is you need to expose yourself to somebody that's greater than you. Action behind it. A dream and a goal is just a goal until you put some action to what you're saying. You can define what it is, you can identify what it looks like, but you can't pursue it, man, until you put action behind what you say. What you're saying, man, is you're a person of action. That's what you're saying. I don't know if you know that or not. But you're like, man, it's not good enough. Choose which woman that comes into your life. Be careful. Look at her mama. Look at her aunts. Look at her sister. Look at that stuff. That stuff's going to tell you who that woman's going to be. In situations before they get to me. That way you don't have to go back and backtrack to change the step that you didn't take to get to be the man. So, and hold it. Yeah, I keep, keep it up and down. Yeah, but yeah, so what I'm saying is, you gotta have a picture, then you get a plan. Well, you can't hold it, man. <laughs> See, he can hold it, but how long can he hold it? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? See, it's some stuff we can handle, by ourselves, but how long can we really handle it? <laughs> you know what I'm That was pretty quick, wasn't it? <laughs> how long can we handle it by ourselves? It takes, like, somebody to, like, in your crowd to actually just stand up, you know what I'm saying? Stand up and actually um, be, you know, be that one to, to just be honest with people. And if you see somebody going off a cliff, getting ready to fall, getting ready to jump, I mean, you're going to say, hey, hey! Hey, man, yeah. don't, exactly. you know, yeah. you're not going to be the one that said, man, go on, jump, man. <laughs> right. Go ahead and jump, man. Go on, take, you know. And that's, I mean, I'm always knowing the definition because it's just something about definitions that I like. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to reading fast, I can't do that. So that's, that was something else that was making me fail because that was always trying to time me with reading. And I'm like, why are we comment on reading? I thought you were supposed to comprehend what you read, you know? So that was something that I, I really mm -hmm. understand. I'm really smarter than these kids. I'm smarter than the ones that laugh. Yep, they see, see you if you let them hinder you, you know what I'm saying? They're going to keep you from getting to the point you need to be where you can show them that you actually smart. Mm -hmm. Because once you get that reading down, everything else is going to open up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everything else, your sign, I bet you. In elementary school, they push y'all for fluency, speed, fluency, speed. How fast can you read? How well can you say words? When you get to high school, we flip the script on you. First thing we want to know is, do you understand what you read? Do you understand what you read? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They don't teach them. You've been you've been trained for years to get through it. Get through it. Then we throw a free hour test in front of them. Take them sit down and comprehend about unrelated articles that you may not know anything about in your life. This is an advantage right here. Y'all got an advantage right here. Take advantage of what you got. This guy's a coach, man. It's a coach, 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 coach. All these guys are coaches. They're trying to get you to an advantage. Oh, man, when he's talking about the future, you know, you're not going to make it to the future until you get it right right now. What we have the power over is the present. That's why they call it present, because it's a gift. It can either be a gift or something you don't want. You gotta work with what you got right here, right now. Like you were saying, the coaches in, man, trying to put you on the next level. But it's up to you 
to determine, man, I'm going to say yes or I'm going to say no to what they're saying. I'm just going to let it go in one ear, out the other ear, eat pepperoni pizza, drink some drink, and head out of you legacy. Oh, man, I'm going to actually listen to what we do. We can't man and try to learn how to make it. But big words, implement. How to put it into my life. I'm not getting paid for life. Mm. That's not their job. There are always going to be some people around that don't like you. So we, we got to get out there and say everybody's supposed to like you. Mm. That's not how life is. Mm. When you get on your job, your boss man may not like you. The person you're working next to may not like you. But that shouldn't hinder your purpose of being there. Mm -hmm. they, they're, they're not supposed, in a sense, they're not supposed to like you. In a sense like that. Teachers are not supposed to. That's not their job. Their job is to educate you, whether they like you or not. Now, if a, they got issues with, with educating you, then there, there is a problem. But they're not getting paid. So I hear all the time. I, I hear grown people, guys that were in college, say, man, that professor didn't like me. I quit the class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> professor ain't kidding. That's not his It didn't hurt him. It didn't hurt the professor. Yeah, that's not his No, he don't get paid. Like he don't guys. get paid. Y'all are there to get an education. He's going to get a check right. anyway. Right. Yeah. Coaches may not like you, but man, if you're a good player, they're going to play you. Mm -hmm. Whether they like you or not, right. if, you, if you can help them, they're going to play you. Right. But because they don't like you. That's, it, he don't like me, so he don't play me. Now, if you can play, he'll play you. Mm -hmm. Like you don't have, because his motive is to win the game. If you can get in there and help him win the game, he's going to get you that game. But you feel that disrespect you. You know what I'm saying? I had an incident not long ago. The guy totally disrespected me. I mean, just I was telling Pete about it. Man, I'm talking about it. Man, if y'all know me 10 years ago, the way this Five guy, years ago. The way this guy <laughs> talked to me, I'm serious. He talked to me like, I mean, I can't even pronounce the words in here. The things that this dude said, for nothing. Totally disrespected me. Man, five, 10 years ago, man, I'm be honest with you, I was shot. You understand me? But I sit there and I looked at the, I evaluated the situation. He was drinking. I shouldn't have been around if you Because that's not the lifestyle I'm living anymore. So that's it was my fault for being around if you want. He was drinking, drugging, whatever he was on, so he wasn't in his right mind. So I had to make the choice to act out on him and drop myself to his level, but to think for him and be smart. I chose to think for him and being smart. And I got in my truck, mad as a firecracker. <laughs> mad, <high. laughs> you hear me? I'm tired of high. All I could think about was doing what I used to do. But you know what I did? I got in this Suzuki and I drove all the way to the country, <laughs> nine miles. By the time I got home and thought about it, I calmed down. I went and got in bed and forgot about it. You know what I'm saying? Let it go. You know, now he walking around looking at me crazy. He seen me the other day. We ride. Okay, he see me at the stop sign. He don't know where to hit his gas and go. You know what I did? I weighed and kept going. And in his mind, he thought I was going to do something. Whether it's gunplay, fight, or whatever. I let it go. I showed him that I'm the better man. So who won? In the end, he and Bear. What stage did you realize, man, I, I really need my dad? I, I never looked at it like that. I mean, cause, I mean, I mean, I wish I had, I wish I had my dad and everything, but I mean, I don't just sit up crying. Like right, I'm just saying, but like, like, hey, man, I wish, uh, I mean, I remember, and my dad was, my dad was, uh, man, my dad was <coughs> in my life, but I, I, he was gone for a few years, but it was some years where, like, you know, sometimes I didn't want him there because I just he didn't play, you know, what I mean? but then there was other times when I needed to know stuff. That I wish she had been there, that my mama couldn't. The way she handled it was different. You know what I mean? Like I always say, when you get mad, what do you do? How do you act?